it's not like you have to take a leap of faith and arrive, do some deductions to arrive at the similarities between quantum physics and Vedanta. It is so, so obvious that if you like, uh, you know, uh, anybody who knows Vedanta and learns quantum physics, they can make this connection. In fact, uh, many Western uh, uh, scientists are now talking about this uncanny correla correlation between quantum physics and Vedanta. Now, first, let us look at what quantum physics is saying. One of the first and the most basic experiments of quantum physics is called double slit experiment. And when they did this experiment, what that was when they discovered that particles do not exist until they are observed. Your, the act of observation, when a conscious being observes, only then particles come into existence. You take a minute for this to sink in. That is, the founders of quantum physics made this statement. Nothing exists until it is observed. Can you... Uh, when you listen to the statement, does it not bring to your mind all the Vedantic or Mahavakyas we have heard? What does Vedanta say? Vedanta says, consciousness is the fundamental principle of the universe. Universe is consciousness. And everything arises in consciousness, exists in consciousness, and resolves into consciousness. Mm -hmm.